This is Math 98, practice test number two, problems 11 and 12. And we are supposed to simplify. So when we're simplifying radicals, remember what we're doing is we're, we're doing as much of the square rooting as we can. So we can dig around in here and find some square roots. Uh, I'm sorry, some perfect squares that go into 200. And what I see is 200 is 100 times 2. And notice I chose 100 because I can square root that and get a whole number. Uh, square root of, and they're both still square rooted. Square root of 100 is 10. Square root of 2, I can't do that with my calculator. You know, I just get this decimal expansion that goes on forever for it. So I'm going to leave it as root 2. So that is simplified. I did as much of the squaring as I can. So we're going to do the same thing with 12. We have a bunch of different pieces here. 75, a to the fourth, b cubed, c squared. They're all square rooted. So this is the, I'm going to think of this as square root of 75 square root of a to the fourth, square root of b cubed, square root of c squared. Just like square root of each of those pieces. So now I'm going to break these up to look for squares. 75, I see a 25 in there. 25 times 3. Still square rooted. So this is going to leave me with a 5 root 3. a to the fourth. A couple ways to think about that. Like what squared would give me something to the fourth power? The other way to think about that is, remember square root is... Um, the one-half power. So I could think of this as a to the fourth to the one-half. Either way, this gives me an a squared. Now this b cubed, I'm going to split this into b squared times b. Because I know the square root of b squared is b, and the square root of b I can't do anymore. Same thing as I did this. I split it into something I can square root easily, and something that's going to be left over. I can't resolve quite yet. Square root of c squared is just c. So now I have that. And so now I, I'm almost there for my whole idea. I'm going to take everything that is outside of the radical and put it out front. So I have a 5 a squared bc times the square root of 3 times b. 